Maritime Aquarium officials joined Mayor Harry Rilling and Senator Bob Duff at Norwalk City Hall today to announce their new contract with private contractor cleaning company Premier Maintenance Incorporated. The aquarium ended its contract with Premier Maintenance by the end of 2013 as part of across-the-board cost-cutting measures, which left the company's custodial workers without jobs. The Maritime Aquarium expects to retain many of the part-time workers it hired several weeks ago after Premier Maintenance was terminated. Premier Maintenance has agreed to make good faith efforts to place the remainder in other locations as jobs open up. Officials say workers will return to the same positions March 1st with the same salary. We appreciate the time and energy of State Senator Bob Duff has invested getting all the parties together to assure that the aquarium gets the necessary resources from the state of Connecticut to support its tourism activities and its capital needs. The Maritime Aquarium currently brings $42 million of economic impact to the state. We recognize the efforts of the Maritime Aquarium. It was very, uh, they were very responsive to uh, our discussions and they realized that uh, they wanted to make everybody whole again and work things out. A lot of the, uh, the credit goes to Senator Duff, his leadership, um, actually, most of the credit, along with uh, Jennifer Herring and the state delegation from uh, Hartford, mm -hmm. uh, everybody worked together and for a common cause, and it turned out well. Aquarium officials say they're currently reviewing their operating budgets for cost savings. We can put this behind us. We want to move forward. The aquarium is very important to us, and uh, we think that this will help move the aquarium forward in a way uh, that wouldn't have happened had we not reached this agreement. In Norwalk, Priscilla Lombardi, it's relevant.com.